Baker Street, Mark Richards. Um, disappointing result, but what do you make of the The best team won. Well, they were, you know, they're top of the form guy for a reason. They're a very, very well drilled, efficient National League North team. You can see why they're, you know, for the last 10 or 15 games, I think what's that, 10 in the last 11, I think they've won. So, um, yeah, a bit of a lesson for us today in terms of probably the levels of where we need to be at. You know, I don't think we played anywhere near to the, the capabilities of what we can and the performance levels of where we have been. Um, so yeah, it was it was a it was a hard lesson tonight and and a, a fair result. But you must say it was far more encouraging than than Saturday. Yeah, I think Saturday's game just in general was just poor. Um, I'd like to think we wouldn't ever get a game like that again. Um, it was a bad game for both sides, and obviously, you know, we came out on the the right side of that one. It's just uh, there were some yeah more positive signs in terms of some of our play at times, but we just need to be a bit more streetwise um, and obviously a little bit more well versed of being a National League North team that competing hopefully at the top end of the table because Brackley have been doing that consistently for the last four or five years. Uh, when you're in the dugout and you're having a look at, at, at the match like today, do you think forward and think that's what we really need to do? That's Brackley's performance is, is what we need to do? I don't think necessarily I'm thinking that in the dugout, but when I watch a lot of games and see Brackley and we've seen them a few times already this year, you know what you're getting. You've seen the run that they've gone in the FA Trophy and they've taken some good scalps along the way. And um, yeah, they're just very, very good at what they do. And they've got some good players and they've got good strength and depth. And um, yeah, it was, a, it was a bit of a tough test tonight. Um, positives, I thought again, Jack Hickman at right back. Yeah, yeah. I. I think he got man of the match again, didn't he? I, I thought probably Matt Yates would have probably got it, if I'm being honest. I thought he pulled off some unbelievable saves, um, did whatever he needed to do. Um, but yeah, no, Jack's obviously second game and he's, he's, he's put in two solid performances. Uh, one slight worry there with uh, Ezevel having to come on uh, at half-time. What's the news there? Well, Joshua, is, he was feeling his hamstring early in the first half, managed to get through to half-time, but you know, he, was, he was feeling it, so we didn't want to make you know, take any chances, so obviously made the substitution at half-time. James Veselovsky talking about hamstrings, uh, you got through another hour today, is that an encouraging sign for you? Yeah, I think you've seen the last two games what he brings to the team, you know, he's that, that maturity in terms of what he does, in terms of breaking up play and keeping things simple, it's been great to, to obviously get him through back-to-back games on a Saturday, Tuesday, although only being 60 minutes, um, uh, hamstring's been absolutely fine, um, so it's just a calf issue that he kind of is just still feeling, and obviously that happens sometimes when you've had a bit of time out. But, you know, he, again, he showed again today what quality he brings in. Is that sort of tenacity that you're looking to bring into Hereford midfield that hasn't been evident all season, really? I, I think, like I've said from day one, we're always looking for better players and, and also looking to build the squad as, so we can compete at that top end of the National League North. And you saw a team today that we were playing against that, you know, have got that across the board in terms of their 11 and the subs that are coming on. And we need to make sure that that's a sort of standards that, that we're aiming for to obviously get where we need to be. Um, Esavel coming in for Gowling, how did you think he fared? Yeah, I thought he did what he needed to do. I just said that to him there, you know, he's just come in, he's just been solid, he's, you know, headed what he's needed to head and, you know, and uh, clear what he needed to clear and just kept things simple. So, yeah, I was pleased with this. Tough programme of games coming up, yeah. but I look at, the, at that as a challenge. Um, I would expect if, it, if I was the manager of my players to go out and compete against the likes of Spennymore and Stockport, they've got nothing to lose. Yeah, we're looking forward to it. You know, obviously having a run of Brackley, Spennymore, Stockport is a, it's a tough ass, all being in the top four, I believe so. Um, but, you know, we'll, we'll travel up on the Friday for the Spennymore game and we'll make sure our preparation's spot on and we'll give it a good go Saturday. Uh, James Waite was back. Uh, any reactions? Yeah, it, to be honest, we'll see how he pulls up tomorrow. But, you know, the... Uh, Conversation I've been having with Cardiff was uh, around 30 minutes in terms of game time. So obviously he's got 30 minutes under his belt today. So we'll see how he reacts. Thanks for your time. Cheers, guys. Can I just ask a little bit about Mike Simmons? He's looked a bit off the pace. I think, to be honest, since he's come back, he had that game off, uh, was it against York? To, to be honest, I think Simmo's probably been one of our standout players since he came back from his leg break. Um, it just happens to be the last couple, like a couple of our players actually, have all had a sort of slightly under par game similar times so if you look at maybe if three or four of your players aren't performing to the levels that they have been then you know it does affect the overall performance and I think the last two games you could probably say that about a few of the lads um, nothing to worry about you know Simo's been absolutely superb for us you know since he's come back and uh, yeah he's just I just think he's just getting a little bit frustrated obviously he had the good chance Saturday didn't he um, you know you can see how gutted he is you know when he misses the chance and 
um, but he'll be absolutely fine. So we'll we'll just dust ourselves down and we'll go again. So no lingering, lingering injury. No, not at all. Absolutely no. not at all. Yeah, no, no injury whatsoever. So all right, apart from his thumb. Yeah, his thumb Saturday. So if you take that as an injury, then yeah, he's hurt his thumb. What, what would you, you could have done differently tonight to get won the game? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, always that one when you lose. Yeah, um, I think if you you're looking at it in terms of where they were better than us, second balls. I think all around the park. I think you look at it. I just said to the boys there. You know, they were always seemed to be two of them when there was one of us, or you know, they would always be the first to that second ball, that breakdown, or the first contact. So I think we didn't compete as well as we probably have done in previous games. Um, and like I said, they are very good at what they do. And they, I would not be surprised if they I think maybe going up automatically is out of their reach now. But going up through the playoffs, would, yeah, I, I, my money would probably be on them. And do you think we can get to that sort of level, the current squad? I hope so. Yeah, well, we, you know, that's the aim. We're, we're, we're obviously trying to build a squad where we can compete at that top end. And, you know, up until sort of today's result, I think they're what two in the last 12 that we've lost so you know we'd say on the form guide that we've been consistently in the top 10 over the last 15 to 20 games okay, it's transfer deadline day on Thursday oh no what I can't wait will you have just for wait and see that's <laughs> how I'm going to leave with you just wait and see alright no hints whatsoever nope wait and see <laughs> thank you alright All right. fair enough cheers guys <laughs> thank you